I'm Ashley Headland. I'm here with Sean Racinko, and we're talking about international SEO. Sean, what is international SEO? Can you give us a quick overview? Sure. So international SEO is essentially performing SEO activities uh, in an effort to generate better visibility for your web assets in search engines abroad, so search engines in other countries. So can you share with us some of the best practices of international SEO? Sure. So really the first step is to translate your content. You want to make sure that you're appropriately translating your content uh, so that it fits within best practices of the country and the language that is spoken by uh, the people. Uh, secondly, you want to uh, really perform keyword research just like you would as part of any other SEO campaign. So you can conduct keyword research by international search engine to see which translated words or phrases uh, generate a strong search volume. Um, what's also important is that you are hosting this content on an uh, appropriate top level domain. So if you are targeting uh, uh, France uh, as part of um, your, your, your interna international SEO outreach, you'd want that content to ideally be on a .fr domain or if it was in uh, the UK, a .co.uk uh, domain. Because search engines typically like to uh, return results from uh, uh, countries that uh, are corresponding to the top level domain. Uh, another uh, best practice is, is, is to think about hosting uh, your content in, in, in that corresponding country. So if, if you, you know, are marketing uh, that content in France, you know, hosting the, 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 the website or the web, or the web pages uh, from a France IP address is something that search engines will look at and it can affect visibility for those pages. Um, and lastly, you know, make sure that you are tracking these things separately. So within your web analytics platform, you do have different segments of of the websites or the web pages that you're tracking separately um, from your main website to gauge the performance um, of these different international translated uh, content web assets. So now that we have some of the best practices, can you list out some things to avoid with international SEO? Sure. So some common mistakes that we typically see uh, is uh, the auto translation of, of content. So there are a lot of tools out there which, which will just translate all of your content or your text. Um, that doesn't always conform to how the content should be written and, and, and really how people speak. And search engines can actually detect that if, if it's been auto-generated uh, and auto-translated. Um, so that's something you definitely want to steer away from. Um, and, and, and lastly, you just want to make sure um, that the, the URLs that you are hosting the translated content under are not the same URLs that uh, your English version is. So each translated version of the web page has a, a, at least a unique URL. And like we talked about before, it's ideal that they do have um, their, their own domain with the, the country-specific domain. Great. Well, thank you for your time, and thanks for joining us on Verdell TV.